Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are going to be making a clay face plush. Now this is my first time ever making one, so there were a few bumps and stuff along the way if you know what I mean. Sorry my dog's playing with the toy in the background. Hopefully you won't be able to hear it too much and I've also got to get ready to leave for a doctor's appointment here soon. I didn't really have anywhere else to put it so you can see the view, full view, but like here's the plushie I'm using for today. <laughs> I'm going to be using air dry clay by, I think it's Amico. I got it at Hobby Lobby for 12 bucks for 10 pounds. So I thought I'd give it a go because there wasn't that much clay to a brick of Sculpey for the oven bake. And I know Sculpey is like key, but like at the same time, it's just expensive. So I wanted to give this a try. I don't know, like maybe 15 or 17 bucks for a little like pound or something like that. So I wanted to give this a go. So for the plushies, I just went and got some from Goodwill. I haven't washed it yet, but I'm getting ready to. I'm going to go throw it in the washer after I measure the face. It smells kind of like nothing. It smells like nothing. I need to kind of brush it out. I think it's a little curls. Need a good brushing with like maybe a wire brush or something. Okay, so I'm freaking trying to scrub off my makeup because I don't want to go back to the bathroom and get my micellar water to get it off the rest of the way. And I know it's all the healthiest stuff, but you know, it's the only stuff I've got. So I'm using a baby wipe, but it's not quite getting it off. The baby's in bed, so I finally get some time to art, to do my thing, to be myself. So I'm ready for some me time. So let's do some art and make some freaking bears. I've drawn this concept sketch and I think it's really cute. I'm going to make like a clown corset for this Halloween, hopefully for my shop. Um, I'm going with a pastel goth kind of vibe with this one, like a clowny pastel gothy thing. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to turn out just yet, but we will see when it's done, okay? This plush started out as something I saw on TikTok as a huge trend a long time ago. I don't know if it's still trending or not, but I still see people making them occasionally. After seeing enough plushies at Goodwill all the time, I decided, hey, I'm going to try them. That. Because the plushies are only like a dollar at Goodwill, so I thought, why not?
So sadly, I did have some minor cracking. It's where this is a cheaper quality of air dry clay, and I used tinfoil at the base. When the air dry clay shrank as it dried, the tinfoil underneath did not, sadly, go with it, so it caused cracking. But I'm going to try and repair it. I've only got it here really bad. And then, let's see, I don't see it anywhere else but here as well. So hopefully I'll be able to repair it because I really don't want to have to trash this project. It's really cute. So let's try and fix it. So I ended up flopping big time on the first go. The face just cracked way too much to be able to even repair it. It just was not going to work out. So I ended up getting a, out another plushie besides the rabbit plushie. It was a green beanie bear. But it was a green beanie bear. I picked up this green beanie bear because I wanted to save the rabbit for when I knew a little bit more of what I was doing. After I realized I had no idea what I was doing. And the reason why it so bad is because of the tin foil. The tin foil just wasn't going to work out with this type of clay. It's just too... I'm going to guess it has too many fillers or something in it. And it's just not going to be able to have a base to work on. So I completely re-sculpted the new face. I didn't want to refilm this one because I felt like it would make this video too long. So basically I did the same thing as the first one, just as a smaller version. Because this plushie is a good size smaller than the rabbit. After sculpting it, I realized that I needed to make the face flat until I could figure out how to make it work with a base. I don't want to make the whole face face if it's rounded. I don't want to make it completely out of clay because it's going to be way too heavy. It's just not going to work out with the plushies because they're always going to fall over because the face is just going to be way too heavy. Because I do plan on doing a lot of more smaller plushies as well because I want to be able to offer these in my shop. Now the first one won't be for sale because it's my first one. I never sell the first thing one of anything in my shop because to me that's a prototype and I really don't want to have that out there under my brand if you get what I'm saying. So the first one won't be for sale but I have a whole full on release coming this august 31st if it's all gonna be like halloween themed ish there might be a few things in there that's not but if you want to go check it out the link's gonna be in the description box below so go check it out uh, also i couldn't find very many of my acrylic paints so i ended up using my master's touch one but i think in the future when i remake these again because i'm working on one now i'm working on a red one when i make these again in the future i will be using a gouache paint because it's what i have the most of i'm gonna try using gouache and i also bought a sealant to put on at the end that you don't see in this video. I ended up buying a sealant after this video was already pretty much made, but it's called polycrylic or polyurethane or something like that. I know a bunch of people in the polymer clay community use it, but um, I got a water-based one and I'm using it. It's a type of floor varnish. It can also be used for clay from what I've seen and I like it so far. Making this plus was definitely a journey. There was a lot of curves. I've worked with clay before. I've even taken a ceramics class in college last year. It didn't really prepare me for this air dry clay being so raunchy, but in the end, I guess it kind of worked out. So it dawned upon me that I didn't show you guys how I actually close up the face. And this video isn't meant to be a tutorial, but at the same time, I felt like you could follow it if you really wanted to make your own clay face. Here is what I basically did. I threaded a needle after cutting the bear's face off. Haha, <laughs> brutal. But after cutting the bear's face off, I just took the thread and I went around kind of just in a random pattern around the, like the stuffing of the face. The key of doing this is to kind of shrink the fabric down around the face where you cut and to keep you like to keep all the stuffing basically from falling out because when you glue your clay face on you really don't want there to be like loose fabric all in all i think this plush came out very well i love it it may not be my like best work ever but i do enjoy it i also made some crochet pieces off camera and made some little pom-poms to go on because i really wanted to give him a clown-esque vibe so i gave him some pom-poms i also gave him a collar i wanted to make him a hat but i just couldn't get it to work out so there you have it folks enjoy this smooth b-roll